Welcome back to another episode of Balling With Guys. Got the Steeler merch on, in case you didn't see it. Uh, I don't have my hat on or hood. Uh, just always have on some sports team merch as well. Um, that being said, let's hop right on into the video, guys. We've been doing a series of videos of over and under for every NFL team, uh, according to the sports book of how many wins they're going to get. And today we're on the Houston Texans right now. Let's hop right on into the FanDuel sports book. Uh, and they have the Houston Texans over and under six and a half wins. Um, I don't think they're going to get seven wins. They were a three-win team last year to double and uh, to get four more wins than what you just got, plus the three, um, and being one of the down the dumps teams from last year. And i just seen that they released their better linebacker that had that was a starter the past couple of seasons. So that was a head-scratcher. Um, they do have Pierce. They have Stroud. They have uh, uh, Robert Woods on a receiver in court as a veteran, Dalton Schultz, tight end they brought in. He's probably um, C.J. Stroud's number one target going to be. Um, the defense is slight. Will Anderson as well. A couple other players. Um, I forgot the cornerback, Derek Singletary or Singleton, uh from LSU as the corner as well. So uh, they got a couple of nice pieces to look at. Um, but 6-5 and five to win seven games? I don't know. That's going to be a tough one. So let's dive right into it. 0-1-1, week one, I just see it. Um, we're not going to beat the Ravens at all. That's a quick no-brainer. Uh, now, these are going to be some matchups that are – they got other rookie quarterbacks in the division, AR-15 at the Colts, and they have Will Levis at the Tennessee Titans, but Tannehill is there. But just to see that play out over the next few years of Will Levis, CJ Stroud, and AR-15, Anthony Richardson for the Indianapolis Colts all play each other, you know. We'll see how that comes out. Um, that's going to be a close game. I think the Colts will win this game, though. Uh, Texans will start 0-2. See, this drive is going to come off with a nice start. It's going to be 0-3, 0-4. Uh, if they win this game, though, that would be a, uh, you know, a good praise. They will need that one. Um, I do think they can beat the Falcons. It will be a tough matchup as well. But let's say they do beat the Falcons, become 1-5, one 1-6. And, one and one they say they beat the Panthers as well, number one pick versus number two pick. I do you think Texans can beat them? Panthers is going to be a nice matchup, but I do usually go with the C.D. Stroud. I do you think he was, should have been number one pick as well? Um, let's say two and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two and seven right here. They're only going to beat the Colts and or the Falcons and the Panthers. I don't know if they're going to beat the Colts yet, but two and seven at the Panthers. Uh, they should beat the Buccaneers. It's going to be another close matchup. I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt the Bucks win, but let's say Texans win here. Three and seven as well. Still the record. Three and eight. Four and eight. Four and nine. I do think they can beat the Broncos, but it depends. So let's say they lose and go four and ten here. Four and eleven. You know, they couldn't win this. It depends on how the Titans quarterback situation is here. Let's say they win five and eleven. They're gonna lose to the Browns here. And they could, you know, beat the Colts again. So let's say six. Titans, it depends how their quarterback carousel is. So they're at five wins here. Five wins at this at their fifth win. Um they have three games left. They need to win two games out of the three. It depends how the quarterback carousel is. I don't think they're gonna win. They might win six games. They double their wins to six. I don't think they're gonna win seven though. And double it and you know be over it. So I do think they're gonna get right under that. Seven mark, they're gonna win six to five games. Seven will be on the better end. That would be a great year for the Texans if they can win that. But I don't think that will play out just how the cards will fold. Um, and just looking at the schedule again, zero and one. Let's say one and one, one and two, one and three, one and four, two and four, two and five, three and five. Say four and five. Uh, four and six, five and six, five and seven, six for seven. If they really winning these games, though, if they're winning these games, I'm pointing out. But I do think Bucks can beat them. I do think Browns can beat them. It's gonna be close games. Uh, six and eight. Um, what's that? Fourteen. Yeah. Um. So seven for eight, right there. Yeah, if you were on that point right there, you're right there on that mark. You got two more, three more, four more games left. They got to win their beginning games, but I don't think they are. They're still a new team, young team. 
Uh, so I got them going under that seven mark. I got to hit him right on the head at six. Could hit seven, but that the, they do win seven. Most improved team, you know. Um, with all that being said, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Houston Texans was a quick video. Um, got the rest of the NFL to cover. Um, who is the next team? Indianapolis Colts. All right, we're gonna get that right into that one next. Uh, guys, like, comment, subscribe. We got more news, media, uh, highlights. Um, sports bets uh, and sports challenges coming out. Um, guys, we are going to be doing sport highlights for the DMV athletes as well for the top high school recruits and high school teams out here. Um, and guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe on who we should visit as well. Uh, we're just trying to make a name for ourselves with Ball and Whiff, and we're going to get out there and create the content. Guys, make sure you stay tuned, like, comment, subscribe again, and catch you on the next episode.